Okay. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Again, today we have another session uh, concerning about the, the lung vascular disease. Uh, today we will start uh, with the introduction about lung vascular diseases. <coughs> Our introduction is uh, as follows. Uh, lung in other literature, lung vascular diseases are, co are called pulmonary vascular diseases. And these, uh, when you say, uh, you say uh, pulmonal vascular diseases, is a general term, uh, is a, a general term or medical term that generalize diseases that are uh, affected the blood vessels leading to or from the lungs. It means uh, the group of diseases uh, that uh, affect the blood vessels that are going to lungs or blood vessels that come in from the lungs and going to the other uh, areas in the body. And uh, here we are concerned about the blood vessels along the route between the heart and the lungs. Why we are concerned about blood vessels uh, along the route along the route of heart and lungs? Because uh, always the diseases of the heart affect the lungs, and the diseases of the uh, of the vessels of the lungs from uh, the lungs will affect the heart. Uh, and we will look much details about how it, uh, the diseases of the blood vessels from the heart affect the lungs and how the diseases of the blood vessels from the lungs affect the heart. <coughs> and uh, as uh, I have said that uh, lung vascular diseases is a group of diseases and these diseases are as follows. We have pulmonary edema, pulmonary embolism, pulmonary hypertension, pulmonary infarction and other respiratory syndrome <coughs> okay guys I have brought a concept about the systemic circulation and pulmonary circulation which is very useful very 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 crucial uh, to understand this uh, lung vascular disease and that's why I put it on my on my presentation and uh, always uh, when you say systemic circulation means the flow of blood from the left ventricle, it means the blood is pumped from the left ventricle uh, to the body tissues. Uh, and this is called the oxygenated blood. And uh, pulmonary circulation is a flow of blood from the heart to the lungs. Uh, this is the deoxygenated uh, blood that is going to the lungs in order to be oxygenated. Okay, let's, go. let's come on guys. Here, the blood from the left ventricle will flow uh, and enter to the aorta and then go to the other body tissue. So, the blood flow from the left ventricle up to the body tissue, that's what's called systemic circulation. And then after the, after when the blood is going to the body tissues, and it's used for various metabolic processes then it will start again to return to the heart and uh, it will uh, be collected through the vena cava or either superior vena cava or inferior vena cava and this blood will go and enter to the light atrium and then it go to the light ventricle and from the left ventricle will be pumped to the lungs by pulmonary artery so the flow of blood from the light atrium and to enter the lungs is what called the pulmonary circulation. Therefore, as the blood is oxygenated within the lungs, will again return to the heart, and uh, it will go to the heart chamber that is uh, left atrium uh, by pulmonary vein, and then will go to the to the. Uh, heart chamber called the left ventricle and from the left ventricle will again pump into the aorta to uh, to go into the body tissues uh, and therefore we will see that uh, blood circulation is a, a system that is b the, the connection between the systemic circulation and pulmonary circulation and that is a continuous circulation okay I have brought uh, an illustration as follows <coughs> Let's look here. 
and uh, this is the heart and these are lungs uh, this is the right lung and this is a left lung as I have said this is a left ventricle uh, blood from the left ventricle will be pumped and enter into the aorta and when it enter into the aorta will go to the body tissues and from the body tissues uh, it means it will go for a uh, febrile metabolic process either the blood killing uh, balanced metabolites killing the oxygen your nutrient after it had been used uh, the blood will start to return to the heart will turn either uh, from from the upper part of the body will return by using a superior vena cava and from the lower uh, areas of the body will use uh, inferior vena cava and they will enter into the light atrium okay another uh, i forgot that the flow of blood from uh, the pumping of blood from the left ventricle to go into the body tissues uh, for various metabolic process is what called systemic circulation and therefore the returning of blood of uh, and uh, return to the light atrium go to the light ventricle and then is the pumped to go into the into the lungs by pulmonal uh, by pulmonal what it's what called is what called uh, is what called the pulmonary secretion and then after the blood it has been oxygenated in the lungs will start to return into the heart by using the pulmonary vein uh, where it will come and to the heart chamber called uh, left atrium and then go to the left ventricle then pumped to the body so you will see that the blood is a connection between the systemic circulation and the uh, pulmonary circulation okay thanks uh, and not for uh, I will end here about uh, our introduction. Thanks for hearing, and uh, I advise you to subscribe my channel so as to get more update uh, of our session because uh, it has not ended here. We will continue, and we have not started to see about these diseases. And now we are going to see one disease after each year. Thank you.